this. So let's look at a few signs of what is toxic so that you can start to question and start to think more about logically how you wish to be treated and does it align with how this person is treating you? Lack of empathy. Someone lacks empathy and you know when they lack empathy when you've been around them long enough. Other people may not see it. They may think they have empathy if this is a covert narcissist we're talking about. But when someone doesn't seem to care and offers nothing by way of empathy when you're sick, when you're sad, when you're struggling in life, when or is jealous when you're happy, tries to knock you down when you're in when you're in a good place. These are this is, these are a few ways to see if there's lack of empathy going on there. An excessive need for praise and admiration, making everything about them, their achievements, their they are the best thing in the house, whatever. Inability to take any accountability that's real. A covert narcissist might say, sorry, a covert narcissist might say, I know I shouldn't do things like that. I'm trying really hard. I wanna be a better person. And then they don't take any action. Accountability is the action taken when somebody recognizes something in themselves that needs change. We don't expect people to change overnight. That would be unreasonable. But if someone is repeatedly never making any actual effort towards things that are toxic to others to make changes there, then that is a lack of accountability. A person might be overly controlling, super controlling, controlling in every aspect of your life, controlling to the point where you're like, wow, that's controlling. And you see that and you combat it in certain ways and you normalize it, but it, that, that's just a huge sign that someone is needing things to go their way and their way only. Easily provoked and defensive, Dis emotional dysregulation can cause that from, from survivors as well, but, it, everything can be going just great with a toxic person, with a narcissist in particular. Everything can be wonderful. And they will flip at the just the smallest thing that doesn't serve whatever it is and whatever bit of supply they need, or they just need the drama to get that supply in the moment. And or or they can't stand when people are happy. And so they, you know, and so it's this overreactive sensitivity and easily provoked especially if the ego is bruised. Inflated sense of self-importance, don't need to say a whole lot more about that. Exploiting others for their own gain, we've talked about that over and over again. It's all about them, right? Gaslighting, if you feel like you have conversations that don't make any sense because you say something and it's twisted, if when you try to have a conversation that requires feedback, you're getting dismissed, the topic's being changed, you're being derailed, you're being told you're crazy, it didn't really happen, you're being gaslit. So that it's sign combined with the others is, is a sign of a toxic relationship. Manipulative people who cross boundaries. Yeah, who don't let you have boundaries, who don't let give you space, who don't let you be an individual. And then a critical nature, someone who's really critical of you, someone who's harsh with you, who name calls you, who puts you down, who belittles you who insists that you are worse than everybody else in the world, right? Like somebody that is continually hurting you through criticism. Okay, those are some signs to look for. I have other videos on many, many signs of narcissism and, and toxic relationships, but those that little core group of signs there, if you're checking every box with someone and you're seeing that that is painful to be treated that way, and it's over and over and over and a pattern in, in the relationship that isn't changing, isn't shifting over time at all, no matter what you do, that might be time to consider the fact that you're numbed up to it, you're not looking at the truth of it, and it might be something for you to assess if that is what you want in your life or if you would like freedom from that. So if you need help with anything or want peer support, check out the information. In the main description of every video, there's information on coaching, group coaching, and in the peer support, like I said, there's also ways to reach me there. Otherwise, we will talk more. Let me know what you guys think if you've experienced this and how you're feeling about anything that was talked about here in the comment section. I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, thumbs up, and subscribe. Bye-bye.